been a very 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 long time I just wanted to do a quick periscope um, on my new blog post that I've posted it's called how to get out of the downward spiral I haven't been periscoping for a very very long time because I was going through some things however during my time of going through some things I actually decided to write for once um, normally I wouldn't write I would sit down and wallow in my own self-pity um, but this time did you straighten your hair yes I did <laughs> um, this time what I did I decided to write down how I was feeling so what I did I decided to put together 10 steps well, not really 10 steps actually I cannot remember how many steps I did um, of how to get out of that downward spiral um, now if people know, I don't really know what everyone's going through and stuff like that, but um, I really just thought I would share it. And for some re strange reason, it's getting a lot. Thank you. For some strange reason, it's getting a lot of um, views. It's getting a lot of reviews and everyone's really, really enjoying it. So I'm really happy about that. And I, cause I really want to help people as well. Cause you know, I'm not the only one that goes through stuff. Um, so yeah, a tiny bit of a quick recap. Um, my first thing was how to get out of that downward spiral. Number one um, was learning to see God as a friend. Um, God isn't just this huge elephant in the room that everybody needs to respect and everybody needs to look at that elephant in the room and believe, okay, cool, there's nothing that I can do but stare at him and respect him. It's not like that. You need to have a friendship with God. And um, I learned in my time of struggles that I need to become friends with God and not just see him as this authoritative figure that's trying to always put me in my place, because um, that's not it. I went through a time when I used to really blame God a lot for everything. No matter what happened, I'd always blame God, because there's times where you be in situations and you think that, you know, he's forgotten about you. And I definitely thought God had forgotten about me for a whole year. That is literally, I honestly believed God had completely and utterly forgotten about me for a whole year. I was, even though I was praying, I was doing absolutely everything I could. In my mind, everything was just going downhill. My life was going crazy. I was fighting. My, I had the biggest battle with myself. And then that kind of ricocheted onto me having battles with my husband, battles with everyone around me, battles with my friends. And, um, yeah, I genuinely didn't believe it. I, I just... God just didn't seem to help me. That was what I, that's what I thought. Um, but obviously what happens is, is that no matter what, I still kept on praying and I still kept on trying to trust in him. I still went to church. I just still did everything like that because it's weird, but God's not always going to be there to help you step by step, hand in hand. If you're not doing nothing yourself, you have to work hand in hand with him. You know, he's not a magic genie. You can't just rub a lamp and, you know, expect him to just help you you need to help yourself so that was my first step i learned to become friends with god i second step was that i told him everything that was on my mind you know there's loads of things in the bible and things that people say where people talk to god and they tell god how they feel but i've learned that you can't tell god what you expect him to hear he's not going to want to hear what you expect him to hear. he wants to hear everything on your mind and on your heart and if sometimes that means you telling god that you're pissed off then tell him <laughs> do you know what I mean because I've done that there's times I've said to God God I'm so pissed off right now I need you to help me and God will respect that and accept that more than you just lying and saying to God oh God how great you are and I'm just feeling so happy when really deep down inside he knows you're feeling bad he you know you can speak to him it's not that much of you know a bad thing Sometimes even when we're so hurt, we can't even talk. God still understands the language of your heart. That's what the Bible says. I can't remember where it says it, but I love that scripture. Um, you know, and I really, really realize that in times of struggle and in times of problems, you seriously need to cling on to God, even if it's just the slightest cling, even if you can't even cling too tough. Because me, I felt like I couldn't even cling on to God too much. I genuinely thought like I didn't even know what to do with my life. I thought to myself, okay, cool. So here I am just living my life, doing absolutely everything I can. My life felt like a routine. I'll just wake up, start the day off bad, go to work, come home, finish the day bad. Even if I was praying morning and night, these things happen. But God sometimes allows us to go through these things so he can test us so that we can see what's, you know, where we're at. 
I remember my pastor was preaching about us going through an isolation process where God isolates us so that we can be closer to him. I think that's what happened to me. And um, through all of that, you know, you need to really, really learn to hang on and cling on to him um, because really and truly, nobody else is going to help you as much as God is because, you know, you can't really rely on everybody else. You can only rely on God. Um, that was, I think that was my second one. Um, yeah, really, I'm just sharing only this is only because i got so much love on my latest blog post i'm really surprised um and i'm really happy and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i shied away from social media and everything because of what i was going through it was so horrible it was bad and i was struggling so much but here i am today getting back into the usual swing of living in peace and not in pieces because i was living in pieces for a very long time seriously um so what i've done now with my blog I, I even took my blog down, so now that it's up, I've revamped it, um, and I'm doing loads of new posts, um, tips of what I learned during the time I was going through stuff, um, what else? A lot of stuff that I'm, I'm now going to start writing is quite personal to me, because I don't like blogs where you read them and they make you feel bad all the time, because you feel like you're less and the person who's writing it seems a lot better than you. Um, I don't like doing that. And to be honest, it's nice when you have a bit of transparency and the reader knows that the person that's writing it is going through what they're going through too. And um, that's what I feel like I need to do with my blog. So the upcoming posts that I'm going to be doing will be a lot about what I was going through, um, sharing my testimony. And also um, I've got some new things coming out like the Manor Incentive Care Packages. I've been planning that for a whole year actually and I still don't know how I'm going to do it I'm just relying on God um, but basically my plan for that is um, on my website I have a prayer request section what you can do is you can put your prayer request through to me they come straight to my email I get back to you on whatever it is and we pray together through there you can request a money incentive care package now depending on what it's for all you need to do is put your email through and I will personally send you a care package so inside this little box is going to be probably a bible a notepad um and it's going to have a journal that you can start writing in it like the way I do as well but what I'm going to do is is I'm going to start that journal off for you depending on what it is that you need so I'm going to start off with a prayer in the book with some scriptures with anything you know like a book that starts you off and then you can continue it that's all going to be for free I'm going to fund it all by the grace of God I'll be able to fund it but that's been on my heart for like a year now so I want to start trying it out um, I'm still trying to put things together and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it and how I'm going to send it um, but yeah so that's the plan there um, anything else I don't expect those people to be coming in to be honest I just <laughs> I was just gonna like record it and then upload it on my YouTube channel and see how it goes but um if you are encouraged by anything if you want to ask any questions, send them through. I genuinely don't mind. Also, I have been, for the first time... Babe, can you shut that door for me, please? Sorry, guys. Um, for the first time, I have been asked to do a university talk. So I will be travelling to the University of Derby um, in May. And I will be doing a talk with university students, university women and men, about worry... Um, marriage, relationships, and quite a few other things as well. Um, I asked God to help me broaden my horizons. I asked him this last year, I asked him to step out of my comfort zone. I don't like public speaking, I hate stuff like that. And now all of a sudden I am going to be talking to a bunch of university students, about 200 of them I think, and that's quite scary. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, I think that's it really, but that's coming up, so if anyone wants me to do a talk just get through to me <laughs> on um my email i'm also at the moment if you follow me on any of my twitter handles i would love it if you could read my blog and share it so that we can help somebody else um yeah i think that's it really i was just coming on periscope because it's been a very very long time and i haven't done it in ages i'll upload this video onto my youtube channel and then it will go onto my website um yeah i really appreciate everyone's love and patience and everyone show me love for the blog please continue to share it show it to your friends show it to people that don't even believe in god we still got to try and keep spreading the word um thank you everybody for tuning in 
if you want to send any of your questions in send them in now if not then i'm going to go and i'll probably do some periscope here maybe later on in the week okay guys thank you very much love you take care